This is a basic school video on how to calculate percentages, non-calculator. We always tell our students to find two percentages to begin with, 50% and 10%. The reason why we ask them to find this is that most students already know that 50% is the same as divided by 2, and 10% uh, is the percentage that does what it says, you divide by 10. Take the amount of £600. If I ask my students to find 50%, I'll expect them to halve the £600 to get £300. And then I try and make the link between 50% and 25%. Usually our students can spot that 25% is half of 50%. That means you need to halve the sum of money, giving 150. If you know 50% and 25%, then you can add those two percentages together to find 75%. But that also means you need to add the sums of money together. So £300 plus £150. So this can be done through a variety of methods, including the column method or just mentally. Alternatively, you could have tripled 25% to also find 75%. 10% does what it says. You divide by 10. So £600 divided by 10 gives £60. If you know 10%, then I'd encourage my students to look at the link between 5% and 10%. Again, 5% is half of 10%, so I expect my students to halve 60 to get 30. But then you also know 20% because the relation between 20 and 10 is that 20 is double of 10. That means you need to double the £60, giving £120. You know 40%. Again, the same link, doubling. And then you also know 80%. Again, doubling. If a question then asks, what is 65% of £600, then you can find 65% uh, by using two partitioned percentages here. In my first example, I've used 40% add 25%. I've already worked these two percentages out, and now I'll add together the values that 40% gave and 25%. So £240 add £150, giving a final answer of £390. This wasn't the only way to do it, however. Looking at the screen that I already have, I can see that 75% take away 10% also gives 65%. So that would be 450, and that should be a take away 60, would give 390. When the numbers are even more horrible, it's still exactly the same method I expect my students to use. Find half of it. Again, if you halve 50%, you can find 25%. And if you add those two numbers together, you can find 75%. And then going the other way, if you find 10%, then you can halve that to find 5%, double it to find 20 Now, if these numbers aren't quite so nice to double, like 86, in a previous video, we looked at partitioning the 86 into its, its tens and its units, so 80 and 6. So if I double the 80 and double the 6 to get 160 and 12 and put them back together, I get the answer for 20% as being 172 for 40%, again, if I partition the 172 into its components of 100s, 10s, and units, I'd get 200, 140, and 4, put them back together to make 344. And then similarly, to find 80%, I could partition to get 688. There's the method I used to partition. So if I was asked to find 45%, I could use 40% and 5%, add those numbers together to get £387. If I have any harder percentage questions, then the percentage that we recommend to find for those sorts of questions is 1%. To find 1%, you divide your original amount, which can be thought of as 100%, you divide that by 100. If I was given a question such as 83% of 450, then I'd still carry on in exactly the same way as before. That would be find 50%, find 25%. Now, 225 maybe isn't the nicest number to halve, so we can use old techniques, so splitting into its hundreds, tens, and units, halving those individually to getting the answer £112.50 and then adding those together to find 75%. And then on the other side, finding 10%, halving that to being £22.50, doubling that to 90 and so on. Now I can see there there's no two individual answers that add together to make 83 at the moment. So this is where 1% comes in. Find 1% by dividing by 100. That will give the answer £4.50. 
If I know 1%, I can find any percentage I want. For instance, if I want to find 3%, I just multiply 1 by 3. That means I have to do £4.50 times 3 as well. So partitioning it into £4.50, and tripling the £4, I get £12, and tripling 50p gives me £1.50. Putting those back together gives me £13.50. So now I have 80% and 3%, which makes 83%. So that would be 360, add £13.50, and that would give a final answer of 373 pounds and fifty pence.